Today on 10 Minute IT Gems, we're joined by Philippe Letterie, who is the Senior Vice President of Sales, and Maud Holvast, who is the Country Business Lead for Australia and New Zealand at Alcatel Lucent Enterprise, or ALE. ALE provides digital age networking, communications, and cloud solutions with services tailored to ensure customer success with flexible business models in the cloud, on-premises, and hybrid. Philippe and Maud join us today to tell us more about ALE and what they're doing in the APEC region. Thank you for both coming along and welcome to the gym. Thank you. Hello, Tom. Hello, Maud. <laughs> Thank you. Well, let's just get straight into it. Uh, Philippe, for a business that hasn't worked with Alcatel as an enterprise before, what are your key products and offerings? Well, uh, as you mentioned, uh, Alcatel Lucent Enterprise, we are a global uh, ICT vendor. Huh? We make everything connect by delivering digital edge infrastructure, networks, and communication in cloud, on premises, or in hybrid mode. So we have a, a complete offer for mission critical networks. So it starts from LAN, from core and data center to access, including uh, rug switches for industrial uh, environments, wireless LAN, indoor and outdoor, IPMPLS, G Pone Hybrid Edge Pole, SD1, and even uh, SASE, uh, so Secure Access Service Edge. On top, uh, we provide uh, advanced network services. So first, a single management platform, OmniVista, available on premises and in the cloud, uh, which enables to operate our full portfolio as a single pane of glass. Then we offer uh, location-based services, uh, enabling asset tracking, contact tracing, and, uh, and people flow management uh, as well. And as well, we have recently introduced a new innovation, uh, OmniVista Network Advisor, uh, a network service companion to improve uh, cybersecurity and troubleshooting in mobility. Um, as well, we have an exhaustive uh, uh, communication and collaboration offer. Uh, I would say first, uh, for traditional communications, we offer Omni PCX Enterprise, uh, which is really a fully secure uh, SIP communication experience for mission critical communications. And we complement this as well with, uh, I would say, various services being attended, pool dispatch, uh, pool recording, uh, uh, interactive voice response, uh, alarms and notification management, or, or even multi-channel uh, customer experience. Uh, and then uh, with our Rainbow Cloud service, uh, we offer unified communication as a service, so UCAS. Uh, it's available in hybrid mode, to add collaboration services to existing communication infrastructure, in full cloud mode, to benefit from all communication and collaboration services from the, the cloud, and I think quite unique on the market uh, in a private DC deployment mode, it is named Rainbow Edge, for customers willing to have the full operation of the service. As well, very unique, uh, Rainbow enables a communication platform as a service, so CPaaS, to easily integrate all communication and collaboration services into business applications and processes, uh, as well as to enable uh, workflow-driven services. And finally, I must say that uh, uh, a strong differentiator of our offers is our approach to the market. So we focus on uh, targeted verticals, uh, government, healthcare, education, transportation, energy and utilities, and hospitality. Uh, it's really to guarantee the adequation of our solutions to these sectors uh, by having a deep understanding uh, uh, of these industries, their challenges, uh, their objectives, uh, uh, we deliver impactful use cases driven solutions and full in line with the global and local regulations. So, so in a nutshell, uh, we deliver secure, uh, highly reliable, uh, vertical business outcomes focused solutions and services to accompany our customers uh, to reach their uh, digital transformation uh, objectives. Well, now, I believe ALE is putting more emphasis on networking solutions at present. Uh, what can you tell us about that strategy? Well, indeed, uh, with the rise of uh, connected devices, uh, IOTs, uh, all the concerns on, uh, on cybersecurity, uh, the network market is very, very dynamic. Uh, our strategy is to provide secure IOT multi-service networks with network automation, facilitating the deployment of new connected equipment, enabling new services, uh, while guaranteeing the best level of security. Uh, it's based on a, on a three-step approach, I would say, for any equipment connecting to the network. Uh, the, the first phase is the discovery and classification, which stands for recognizing the device connecting to the network, associating a clear network profile to it, 
authorize some services, some protocols to manage bandwidth, basically the quality of experience. And when it's profiled, uh, we have, a, I would say, an un automated segmentation phase. So to onboard the profiled equipment, uh, but associated to uh, the relevant network secured container, depending on the service uh, which should be accessed by this uh, device overall on one physical network. And the third phase is really the continuous monitoring uh, to, uh, I would say, uh, monitor the overall quality of experience of all these connected services. So this strategy really enables uh, IT to have a, a full visibility on, uh, on devices connected to, to their network uh, and to guarantee the best quality of service. And with a well-defined, I would say, granularity of services associated to uh, specific security containers, it really also improves uh, the overall uh, security of the infrastructure. Now, what innovations are your product development teams laser focused on next? Uh, well, uh, I would say innovation is, uh, is really part of our DNA with uh, our more than uh, 100 years of experience in, uh, in IT and communication. Uh, it says, um, as I mentioned, our mission is really to bring uh, the next generation of digital services to the industries uh, which we are focusing on. Uh, we'll give you some examples. Uh, we will shortly, for example, introduce MPLS native capabilities in our advanced switches, targeting mid-sized companies and industries uh, with an affordable offer. Uh, obviously, we can keep on improving our, our stellar wireless LAN offer with the introduction of Wi-Fi 7 access points. Uh, this will make sure to address the needs of high bandwidth and high density of people in large education campus and uh, research institutes, in train stations and airports, or in uh, large venues like stadiums. Uh, but it's also embracing uh, the challenge of uh, OT and IT convergence. Huh? Uh, what's next? As an example, uh, we just released a, a native integration with video management system players like Milestone uh, to enable easy reboot of the camera directly from the control room center uh, through, uh, I would say, the control of the POE of the port of the switch. It really facilitates uh, the operation maintenance while delegating IT operations to the OT team. Uh, we have as well... Uh, um, a bunch of innovations being cooked uh, with our uh, Rainbow platform, our CPAS platform. Uh, for example, we are part of a, a European Union's uh, Horizon Europe Research and Innovation Program called Cortex2, to uh, bring extended reality to the collaboration experience. So enabling, uh, I would say, new way of uh, delivering training as well as to operate some uh, sensitive maintenance uh, actions. Uh, we are also part of the PLIAD consortium, which is a public-private consortium in Europe, which works on the mastered and secured circulation of S data, uh, including some artificial intelligence uh, capabilities for S data analysis, uh, which will offer, I would say, controlled access to structured and enriched S data to the medical stuff, with the ultimate goal uh, to uh, have a better care for patients. Um, finally, as well, we will shortly facilitate the setup of, uh, uh, of uh, rainbow workflow-led services with a new uh, low-code, no-code uh, interface. Uh, so an example is that it, it will easier, for example, the access to uh, IoT data information, like video surveillance, air quality sensors, and so on, to automatically interconnect uh, this information with humans or even with an artificial intelligence uh, which could improve the public safety services. Uh, and we can uh, keep on, uh, I would say, innovating uh, by continuous improvement in terms of serviceability and, uh, and secure uh, aspects as well in our traditional communication. Uh, by the way, cybersecurity is also uh, one area where we really invested and in innovate a lot uh, by putting in place a complete framework uh, to guarantee that cybersecurity is really at the core of our uh, development process to always uh, minimize the attack surface of our solutions being linked to new developments or uh, integration of external components. Now, I guess this might be best suited for you, Maud. Uh, what infrastructure or resources do you have in the APAC market? Yeah, I guess uh, uh, what's, yeah, what's important to know and understand is that um, we have an uh, indirect uh, go-to-market model 
So um, we're not in it alone. We are very much working very closely with a broad network of partners in APEC and across the globe. And so, um, you know, in terms of the local resources, it's uh, huge because on the one hand, it's Alcatel Lucent with their in-country staff and team, which for example, in Australia, um, we're, I'm representing that team. We've got uh, local experts, um, you know, I would say pre-sales consultant, post-sales and professional services experts. Obviously we've got partner managers. So we've got a whole infrastructure of, of people here that engage our customers and our partners and um, our partners themselves. You know, we've got a, 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 a rich um, set of partners that have their own strength and capabilities with our ALE portfolio. And they may cater uh, specifically to some of those industries uh, that we just uh, just mentioned here. But uh, yes, we are here locally, uh, not just in Australia, but across APEC and across the globe. And uh, together with our partners, uh, we can definitely help uh, those uh, customers in those uh, industries that we work with. Well, I guess one final question to finish off, and you hinted at a little bit there. Uh, if an enterprise end user wanted to engage with ALE, uh, what's the best way for them to go about doing that? Well, obviously, um, we're here in country, so uh, feel free to reach out to myself, um, but also to uh, to our partners. But if there's any specific questions, if you're interested in our solutions, in you know our um, our go-to market, and you really want to connect with us, I would say let uh, let them get in touch with me, and I'll be happy to uh, help them and make sure they uh, they got what they need. Yeah, yeah. There's a definitely a very simple rule. Huh? It's people engagement first, and then uh, people engagement. So uh, exactly. by the way. Uh, you can as well uh, look at uh, look out to our, our website and huh? you will see uh, all contacts for our teams and as well the list of accredited partners by solution, uh, by products, by vertical specialization. So uh, whatever the type of industry they address, uh, as Maud mentioned, uh, a huge community of uh, people to engage with uh, all across the countries uh, in APAC. Well, it has been a pleasure having you both on the jam, Philippe and Maud, and learning more about ALE and what you guys are doing in the region. Uh, we look forward to hearing more from you both very soon. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. much.